Hello, I am Marcus Walden, and I'm doing my leadership profile on Jackie Robinson. I wanted to do Jackie Robinson because I feel like he was a very influential leader, and the type of leadership he um, portrayed was servant leadership. Jackie Robinson is best known for the courageous role he played in the integration of Major League Baseball in 1947. He was born in Cairo, Georgia, which is not too far from my hometown. Jackie Robinson grew up in very challenging times for African Americans. He had to deal with a lot of racism. He had to deal with a lot of racism and barriers from middle school all the way to his professional career. Despite his adversities, Robinson was the first African American baseball player to play in the Major League Baseball League. Jackie Robinson was the youngest of five children. His mother was a sharecropper and a single parent. Due to the circumstances, this made it difficult for her to, to take care and provide for her children. Jackie Robinson was the first college athlete to receive varsity letters in four sports, which includes track, football. He was a quarterback on the football team. He played basketball and, as we know, baseball. To be able to play all those sports, you must be dedicated and talented, which he was. Jackie put many rumors, anticipation, and negative wishes from others to rest upon his enrollment. Once he enrolled, Jackie began breaking history and rewriting record books. His performance was off the charts. School was indeed difficult for Jackie, although he was the first athlete to receive a letter to play four different sports. He attended a school that had no black professors. He was unable to live in Westwood, an area that most students stayed in, and attended schools, socials, or work on the campus grounds. Before Jackie Robinson could graduate from UCLA, he was forced to leave because of financial problems. There weren't many scholarships offered in these times. Jackie Robinson family already went through very financial, stable, being raised in a single parent home and having to raise five children by herself. If you didn't have money in these times, it was hard to get an education. If you were a black man or woman, not being from a wealthy family, this does not take away from the fact that Jackie Robinson was one of the best athletes that ever stepped foot on the campus of UCLA. Jackie Robinson, after leaving California abruptly, he moved to Honolulu, Hawaii. He pursued a professional career in sports. He played for a semi-pro football team that was called the Honolulu Bears. He didn't get to play very many games with his new team. The United States was going to war, into a very pivotal war, this World War II. During this time, Jackie Robinson joined the military during World War II. He was in the Army for two years, from 1942 to 1944. Jackie Robinson served in the United States Army and was a second lieutenant. He never actually saw any combat during his tenure in the war. While he was in boot camp at Fort Hood, Texas, he was arrested on the court and court-martialed him in 1944 for refusing to give up his seat and move to the back of the bus. The buses were segregated even in the Army. The person who was famously known for boycotting the bus for the civil rights movement was Rosa Parks, but many didn't know that he was the first to do this act. His older brother also won a gold medal in the 200 meter dash in the Olympics in 1936. Matthew Robinson inspired Jackie to really get into athletics. It helped bring out Jackie's love for athletics. He started out playing all sports before really getting into baseball and getting serious. An interesting fact, his older brother placed second in the Olympics behind Jesse Owens. So they're all good athletes. Jesse Owens was an extraordinary athlete that went on to win plenty of gold medals. Can you imagine having a sibling that got a silver medal in the Olympics? That is motivation and also someone to look up to. He portrayed very many leadership characteristics and roles, but the one I chose was servant leadership. Jackie Robinson portrayed and lived through servant leadership approach. Servant leadership is with the natural feeling that one was, wants to serve first. Jackie Robinson was born into a family that was dirt poor while having to live through the Jim Crow era and social injustices, forcing him to work 10 times harder. During the 1940s, Jim Crow, there were as many laws allowing racial segregation in the South, such as separate restrooms, restaurants, water fountains, mediocre education, voting, harassment, and the list goes on. I would say he is a servant leader, but servant first type. A servant leader focused primarily on the growth and well-being of the people in the communities to which they belong. In this case, Robinson belonged to the African-American community, so he wanted to achieve things for his people. 
But Jackie Robinson fought the adversities by using non-violence progression tactics. Many people sent him death threats. They disrespected him and hated him. But he did not retaliate by going back at the people that mistreated him. Jackie Robinson began breaking barriers that were there many years ago that helped pave the way for African-Americans, athletes, progress, as well as the black communities nationwide. He was the first African-American male to excel and break the color line in the Major League Baseball. Also, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1962, MLB. He continued to grow as a leader by not vicious, by leading by example through all the trials and tribulations he went through. He not only begins to inspire and gain supporters within his community, but also nationwide. He obtained attributes and that are only obtained by some of the world's greatest leaders. Despite all of this, he learned how to fight for what he believes in. Hard work, self-esteem, patience, and diligence. Jackie Robinson stated, Life is not a spectacular sport. If you're going to spend your whole life in the grandstand just watching what goes on, in my opinion, you're wasting your life. I admire him not only for his legendary athletic achievements, but also for never spending time watching from the grandstands in regards to anything he deemed important. While he is heralded for breaking Major League Baseball's color barrier, he was also a champion for social injustice on and off the field as well. The level of tenacity, courage, and determination that Jackie Robinson exhibited in advancing civil rights during his military career and in his post-baseball corporate career can speak volumes to the unique challenges that face young people today. One of the biggest challenges that young people face today is overcoming apathy and cynicism when it comes to civil service. It is easy to understand why young people might develop a sense of pessimism considering the current stagnant landscape of American politics. He was privileged to complete officer candidate school and earn the rank of second lieutenant. Jackie Robinson could have easily succumbed to the government when he was drafted into the military, especially that African Americans were being treated like second-rate citizens. I also find inspiration in Jackie, Jackie Robinson's refusal to move to the back of an army of a bus. What was supposed to be an integrated line in 1944, 11 years before Rosa Parks and the Montgomery was boycotted, with these two actions, Jackie demonstrated that it is possible to actively support your country while also refusing to passively accept injustices. Today we live in a society where income inequality has mushroomed. Proactive misuse of wealth is prevalent and in some instances glorified. It will be incumbent upon young people who are able to rise to the highest echelons of wealth to find a way to reach back and pull others up. Jackie Robinson became the first black major vice president of an American corporation, but still found a way to reach back. He continued to push to improve lives of African Americans by co-founding the Freedom National Bank of Harlem and later establishing the Jackie Robinson Construction Company to build affordable housing for low-income families. I believe that his post-baseball career demonstrates the selflessness and the sense of nobility that young people should emulate when approaching their own careers. Today, the world is more connected than it ever has been. Technology advances that have made it easier to find information quickly to communicate with others and to mobilize people around a common goal have spurred this interconnectedness. Despite this, in the pace of technological advances, he, st he still paved the way. And servant leadership just really defines someone that's just cares about their people and gives back. And that's what he portrayed. Thank you.